Uh, this morning's hometown hero is making breathable air a top priority in classrooms across the country. And Yola Shokunbi was only in fifth grade when she developed a low cost effective air purifier prototype. The design caught the attention of scientists at the University of Connecticut, and after several rounds of testing and a nod from the EPA, now the Connecticut State Bond Commission has approved $11.5 million in funding to get the filters in Connecticut schools. Inyola Shokunbi joins us now this morning. Um, Inyola, my gosh, you're just moving and shaking at 11 years old. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. So talk about pure air. I mean, this lights your fire. Where did that passion come from for you? Well, for me, I've never really liked science or technology. Like it wasn't, I wasn't really a big um, fan of them. I'm still good at it, but it was, just didn't really catch my attention. But when one of my classmates brought an article about a group of scientists bringing an air filter to the White House, I was like, um, I was interested because I heard White House and I'd always wanted to be the first African American female president. And also, um, I researched about it and I also remember that a lot of my friends were getting sick because of the pathogens and viruses in the air. So I thought that maybe we can make this ourselves so that we can, um, so that my classmates can have cleaner air. And so I, um, Ask, I sorry, I sent a letter to one of the scientists involved, Marina Creed from UCLA, um, Connecticut, and she not only sent me the blueprints, but she also offered to bring a team of scientists to come and help us make it ourselves. So um, she did, and we eventually made enough air filters for the, um, my entire school. It's but that's unbelievable. When it's unbelievable what you're doing. You've spoken to the lieutenant governor. You've gotten unanimous approval by Connecticut's Congress. What comes next for you? 30 seconds left. What comes next in your fight for cleaner air? Um, I want to start getting this into other places, not only in America, but also in the world, because a lot of people don't remember that America wasn't the only one and is still not the only one affected by um, COVID-19 and poor indoor air quality. So I want to start um, putting it towards the Middle East and Africa who have poor indoor air quality because of urban conditions, traffic and also um, burning um, crops and stuff. I'm so impressed by you. I was doing none of this at 11 years old, Yola, <laughs> And uh, I have no doubts, maybe we will see you uh, one day be the first female president of the United States. You, my gal, are a, a breath of fresh air yourself. Thank you for being our hometown hero. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. My gosh. All right, everybody. How does it get better than that? I don't know. So Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.